Okay, so this is fabulous. I'm sorry, but if you don't think this is fabulous, I, I, I'm not sure you're a reseller. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. What is a bolo? Bolo stands for be on lookout, but a bolo can be many things to many people. Some people, it's an item that they find really easily and sell fast. That can be a bolo. A big money bolo is typically something that you buy really cheap and sell for big money. But a big money bolo can also be you paid up for it, but you knew it would sell fast for big money. So I want to know what is your definition of a bolo down in the comments. Let's get started here. So what I'm going to share with you are bolos from the Facebook group. I sh put this in the Facebook group every month. Share your best whatever month it is bolo. If you go over to the Facebook group now, um, I should have up share your best July. And if it's, I'm sorry, share your best August. But if I don't, it'll be coming soon. So watch for it. There is also a share your best plush bolo because everybody loves a good stuffed animal bolo, right? So here's the post. And I invited everyone in the Facebook group to share their bolo. I have probably six, seven, maybe even eight videos for this month. So this is video number one. Stay tuned for the others. I don't always drop them in order, so you may have to go back. But I've been doing this for quite a while. So check out some of the old videos also. Here is the first bolo. Is this unexpected to you? Or would this be something you would be like, oh, I could sell that for $80. I'm not sure I would have picked this up. This is fabulous. Uh, Mackenzie Child's Cooking Utensils. She got it at America's Thrift Store for $6.99 and sold them for $80 on best offer within a couple days of listing. She said, slight damage is why I took a best offer. She sold it on Poshmark. And she said, I posted a recent video about them on my channel, Double T's Treasures. So check out Double T's Treasures for more bolos. Um, here is another one from Double T Treasures. It says, Land of Nod, which is technically crate and barrel. These were like pocket shelves for a kid's room. Picked up at the bins for a few dollars, sat in my money pile because they were missing a screw and thought I could find a match. I never did. Decided to list without screw and sold in a couple of weeks for a best offer of $45. So it looks like it's some sort of thing that goes in a kid's room. I look at that and I think military army. <laughs> I would not have guessed a kid's room. Doesn't it look kind of like military-ish? All right, let's look at the next one here. Um, you guys, also, if you share a bolo in the Facebook group under the post, please mention your YouTube channel, your social media, your whatnot, your selling platforms in the post. And like I did with Double T's Treasures, I'll shout it out for you. And hopefully you'll get some new viewers to your channel or your whatnot or wherever you want people to find you. So definitely do that. I do appreciate everybody sharing their bolos, helping everybody learn. And I would be happy to uh, shout out your info as well. Vintage The Fly 2 Movie Shirt Original 1989 Horror Promo Rare is what I think that says. Purchased at a yard sale up a little holler in West Virginia. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe that was autocorrect. A little holler? Is that a place in West Virginia? Anyway, paid 25 cents, listed for 100 and took a best offer of 85. This comes from eBay store 304 Flippers. The next one is, and if you guys don't know, you can search eBay buy seller's store. You just go to eBay and hit advanced search. And there's a place where you just type in the store name and it will pull up that store for you. So if you hear me say a store name and you're interested in checking it out, that's what you would do. White Mountain Ice Cream Maker, purchased at a yard sale in May in Arkansas, paid $45, listed for two months, and got full price of $375.88. Why do I feel like my grandma had one of these? I think she did, and it was good. She made good ice cream. Have you guys ever had ice cream out of one of these? I don't know if it was exactly the same, but it was an old vintage ice, ice cream maker like this. If I only knew, if I only knew, it's a bolo. Here we go. Okay, so this is fabulous. I'm sorry, but if you don't think this is fabulous, I, I, 
I'm not sure you're a reseller. Uh, it says vintage baking sprinkles, nutty club trim, trimettes, cake, cookie decoration. Are you kidding me? Is this the uh, garage sale price or the store price? Look, this is half gone, more than half gone. Oh man, what a ripoff. Okay, here we go. Purchase these at a garage sale in Canada for a dollar. Listed and sold within 10 minutes. 10 minutes for 95 Canadian with free shipping. Shipping was $8. eBay store is KNF Vintage. Oh my goodness. Old stale vintage sprinkles, guys. So you are going to want to make sure that you post these under, um, I forget what it's called, advertising collectibles. You don't want somebody to eat this, obviously. Maybe put a little disclosure down there that says, um, for a prop or advertising or something, do not eat. I don't know. Just protect yourself because you don't want somebody to eat that. <laughs> they would be in the nutty club if they ate that. Do you get it? Do you get my dumb joke? Because they're called the nutty club trimettes. All right, let's move on to the next one. But before I tell you about this one, I am going to cut the video right here and I am going to have a video from another reseller that is going to share a big money bolo with you. This is my bolo is what this is called. Anybody that is a seller that wants to get on camera and send me a 30 second, actually it can be up to 60 seconds video of a bolo and just say, this is my bolo. You shout yourself out. This is great for YouTubers. If you have a YouTube channel, definitely do that. This is childhood finds and she's going to share her bolo. So here we go and definitely give her a follow on YouTube. She is fabulous. Hi everyone. I'm Sarah at childhood finds on YouTube, eBay, and pretty much everything else. And today the bolo I am bringing you is old maps and Atlas directories and street directories. So I just sold three of them. So one is from 1998, one's from 1985, and one is from 1991. And I picked up all of these for 20 cents each, so 60 cents total at an estate sale, and they thought they were worthless. And I just sold them to the same buyer for nearly $80. No, I'm not gonna be able to retire on it, but that's pretty good for something that was gonna end up in the trash. Okay, we are back. Let's talk about this t-shirt. Oh my goodness. It says, paid $2 at the Salvation Army, light staining, lots of interest, sold for $50. Took a best offer of 50 on this one. So two bucks into 50. Yep. It's a vintage Savage Garden concert t-shirt. So anything concert related, look it up. If it has single stitch, definitely look it up. That means it has a single stitch instead of the double stitch around the arms. Do be careful though, because they are replicating the single stitch now is what I think I read in a Facebook group the other day. So um, don't be fooled. All right, here we go. Vintage Brio leather bucket bag, purse, black, white, striped cross buddy. <laughs> not buddy, not a bolo buddy. It's a cross body tote coin purse. Look how cute that is. Purchased this beautiful purse for $5 at an estate sale in Virginia while visiting family in April. I travel back home several times a year and always end up shipping great items home to list. So fun sourcing in different locations. Had a lot of interest right off the bat. Took about two months to sell for $74.95. My eBay store is Hillbilly Hustles. I like that name. That's easy to remember. Thanks so much. The Bolo Buddies community has been a super resource to me. I hope this link works first time posting here. It worked. You did awesome. And I hope you'll come back and share another bolo. Thanks so much for watching and sharing. The next one is, here we go. Got two Nintendos, one DSi and a 3DS. Both sold in less than five hours. Okay, so let's see. Got it in a state sale. It was, fill okay, no, that's not it. Well, they didn't say what they paid for it or where they got it. But it looks like one sold for 85 and the other for 45 but they did also share this yarn and it says, I got this at an estate sale. It was fill a bag of yarn for $10. I always look for so somebody else wrote, I always look for sewing and craft stuff because they don't think it has any value, but the crafter did. So that's what somebody else wrote under the post. And yes, uh, vintage crafting items can do very well. 
Mary Maxim Ultra Mellow Spun DK Medium Blue Lot of Six, $30. Vintage 80s Sun Britches Men's Board Shorts Navy Blue Multicolor Stripe. Look at this. Only four feedback. New seller, guys. New seller. Look at you, Sharon. Super exciting. Recently starting to sell on eBay after selling on Poshmark Canada since 2020. I was pretty pleased with this sale. I purchased two similar pairs at the local Value Village for 10 uh, Canadian. So that's about $7.30 USD. Thank you for putting the um, uh, conversion. Is it conversion? <laughs> I think that's what it is. Thank you for telling us what it is in US dollars in June. Hoping the second pair will fetch a similar price. eBay store is KE-BOL40. Find me Etsy Depop Poshmark at postcard vintage and pre-loved apparel. There you go. Awesome. Thank you so much for uh, sharing that. That is a cool bolo. Johnsonville Sizzling Sausage Grill Plus BTG 500 Indoor Electric Grill. I've got a hack on this bolo as I live about one hour from Johnsonville. So I think these are a bit more common in my area. Now people should know there are two models of this item. One of them comes with a single set of heating plates that are only for cooking like bratwurst or Italian sausage. It sells for 50 to 100. You guys, this is great info. This is an insider tip. The more expensive one, this one comes with a, um, with a set of three cooking plates that can also do breakfast sausage and breakfast patties. I gladly paid 50 for this brand new at a rummage sale. Sold it in 17 hours. Looks like it sold for $229.99. Let's look at it. If you find one of these, give it a try first before selling. It's actually an amazing product. It cooks an entire package of Johnsonville sausage bratwurst in one go. They come in five packs and there are five slots and it takes about five to 10 minutes with no prep other than plugging it in and putting the sausage on the plates. The plates have a temperature probe that detects the temperature and automatically shuts it off once they're fully cooked. Whoa, what do you guys think about that? That is a fancy hot dog cooker. <laughs> but that was great information. Yeah, anytime you guys have any tips like that that you want to throw in that'll help us as resellers, because I could see where somebody might pick that up and think, you know, the other one was that one and be like, what? So anyway, thank you guys so much for sharing your bolos. Thank you for being here. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share. Um, and the best August hopefully is up. And if it's not, look for it it's coming soon. And again, there's going to be a bunch of videos like this. You can also check out July and June and May and all the ones before because a lot of those items are still bolos and still very relevant. So check it out. Come share a bolo and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.